Welcome to Tour Guide Talks. Today's subject is something a lot of our visitors ask about. How do astronauts take care of basic bodily functions that we take for granted on Earth? I'm standing in front of our replica Mercury capsule. It's actual size, and America's first astronaut, Alan Shepard, sat in one of those capsules for just a 15-minute flight. But before that, there were hours of delays on the launch pad, and he really had to pee. There was no provision to do that in his spacesuit. So after a lot of debate, the engineers at NASA decided to let him go where no one had gone before, in his suit. Moving ahead into the mid-60s, in the Gemini program, Jim Lovell and Frank Borman spent 14 days in a tiny capsule like this one. This is their bedroom, their kitchen, and their bathroom. Their toilet looked a lot like this. In the Apollo program, the U.S. landed 12 people on the moon, and they sometimes spent hours walking and riding around on the lunar surface. In case they felt the need to go, the first thing they put on under their spacesuit was a maximum absorbency garment. On Earth, we call it a diaper. Neil Armstrong wore a diaper on the moon. Now behind me is a space shuttle. Space shuttle astronauts would spend one or two weeks orbiting the Earth, and they had the luxury of a working toilet on board. So spoiled. The space program has come a long way, from no provision for taking care of basic bodily functions to plastic bags as a toilet, to diapers, to a fully functioning restroom on board the space shuttle and the International Space Station. For more tour guide talks and to book a tour during your visit, go to intrepidmuseum.org.